Hello and welcome to the PE faculty. My name is Miss John and I am the head of PE. Here at Fernhill we study a wide range of sporting activities that not only improve you physically but improve your mental health. When you start in year seven you will participate in baseline assessments. These assessments give you a flavour of what we have to offer at Fernhill. The activities will involve rounders, invasion games such as netball and football and also will finish with a dodgeball tournament. In year seven, girls will study netball, rugby, badminton, dance, basketball, football, gym, athletics, rounders and tennis. So you can see there are a huge uh, number of different sports that you will get to participate in. As for boys, you will study rugby, basketball, football, table tennis, health related fitness, netball, badminton, cricket, athletics and tennis. You will also get to study a lot more sports in year 8 and year 9 but it gives you a lot of opportunity to develop your skills and also learn new tactics and new sports. We encourage everybody at Fernhill School to be involved in extracurricular clubs. This is a perfect way to develop you as a person and also to develop your social skills to meet new people and have an opportunity to get involved in leadership. At Fernhill School, we have the best facilities. We have a five court sports hall, we have a newly resurfaced gym, and we also have a newly resurfaced court. You have activities that you can do on the court, such as our invasion games, like netball, and also tennis in the summer term, and we have a top and a lower field. This means that we have the space to be able to offer a breadth of activities that are outdoor and adventurous. The teachers of Fernhill School were extremely supportive, uh, especially Mr Marsh, who actually helped me get into the Lecture Rugby Club. Uh, I most enjoy doing netball because when you get the ball you have time to make a decision about what you're going to do. I like going to basketball club so I can learn new skills with my team and represent the school. My PE teachers helped me in lessons to encourage me to do sports that I've never done before. The PE teachers at the school are really good at helping you. They push you to be the best person you can be in PE and they just benefit you in every way possible. Outside of school, we both play for Electric Garden City under 16s and we've also recently signed on to the women's team. The only major difference between Key Stage 3 and Key Stage 4 is in Key Stage 4 you get an extra practical and you have to do a bit more theory which is actually quite interesting when you get into it. Stage four, you will have the option to choose sports coaching, which is a vocational course, or GCCPE, where you will be assessed in three sports. There are many different roles and responsibilities in Key Stage 4 PE, one of which is the sports ambassadors and also sport coaches. The sports coaches will help to organise events with local primary schools, whereas the sports ambassadors have been nominated through showing dedication to sport throughout their Fernhill journey. They will help to promote this sport within school and also help at house competitions. Both roles that are given will develop you as a member of the Fernhill community and display the qualities that you have as a person. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.